Hey there, everybody. Footy Two Shoes here with episode 43. Valk Seats. Ruby's here. We got our big spoon, and it's almost Halloween. It is the eve of Hallow's Eve. And today we have a special little treat for everybody uh, Ruby's hind end. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is a gift from one of our subscribers. Shout out to Fred in North Carolina. Good looking out, man. This is a salsa. I don't know where from. We'll find out together. Green Mountain Gringo. Hot salsa. Bum, bum, bum. Made with serrano and jalapeno peppers. All natural, baby. Nothing fake about it. Ruby's gone. Well, that's all right. Let's see what's in this bad boy today, huh? Let's check it out. Ripe tomatoes, onions, fresh jalapeno peppers, to uh, tomatillos, fresh serrano peppers, apple cider vinegar, cilantro, parsley, fresh garlic, sea salt, cumin. Ooh, I do like cumin. Manufactured on a line that produces products with soy, allergen, refrigerate after opening. You've been warned. So... What's your costume this year? You're going to dress up as something good? Oh, that sounds great. Okay, this is coming from uh, Garner Foods EST 1929. Old folks making this stuff. Let's see here. Try our strips. Certified gluten-free, fat-free, no preservative, 100% natural, American Vegetarian Association re recommended. There's their strips. I don't know what those are. Look like just tortilla strips. Gluten-free, they're not charging. We like that. Coming out of uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. That town has two names. That's not bad. All right, let's get into her. Here, this thing's fresh. Oh, yeah. Fresh as they come. Ooh, it smells good. Take a whiff of that. Wow, a lot of big chunks in there, too. Let me go over this one more time. What's in here? Ripe tomatoes, onions, fresh jalapeno peppers, tomatillos, fresh serrano peppers, apple cider vinegar, cilantro, parsley, fresh garlic, sea salt, and cumin. This has got to be good. I was warned that it's hotter than you think. Let's find out. Episode 43. Alex eats green mountain gringo hot salsa. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. It is spicy. It's got a kick to it. Wow. Let's give that a second to kick in. Definitely has a little heat right away. A lot of big chunks, which I uh, just love. Love big chunks in my salsa. Don't care what they're chunks of, as long as there's chunks. Mmm. Wow, very flavorful. Heat, sitting at a one right away. Two, maybe. It's getting hot. It's heating up with just jalapenos and serranos. You know, you can't expect anything too crazy, but you pack enough of them in there, it's gonna be warm. And yeah, I'm tingling. Mm, a lot of flavor. Holy cow, it's just sort of a classic salsa taste. Nothing. Nothing really out of the ordinary, you know, like chipotle salsa. You can definitely tell if that's a chipotle salsa. This is just sort of your classic salsa, but with a little heat. Mmm, and plenty of chunks. My goodness. Non-GMO project. Verified. They're verified. This is not bad at all. Heat scale, out of five. Hmm... Gonna have to give it a 1, maybe a 1.3 or something, because uh, it's not as hot as as I was expecting. I, it can't, like I said, it came with a warning. Hotter, uh, you know, it's hotter than you might think with the uh, jalapenos and serranos, and I will say that's true. It's hotter than you think, but it's not as hot as you expect. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get one more in here. I actually have chips. So I'll be putting this on some chips, not just a spoon here, um, in the near future. Um. Big chunks of garlic in there. 
Holy cow. A lot of good flavor. The cumin, it comes through right at the end. You can just barely taste it, but it's there. Wow, Green Mountain Gringo hot salsa. These guys are making a pretty tasty, um, a pretty tasty salsa. I wonder what else they have. I've never heard of this company. So, if you find yourself in North Carolina, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to be correct, or to be specific, get yourself some Green Mountain Gringo hot salsa. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with your experience. All right, I think that's it for this episode. Episode 43 of Alex Eats. It's been a good one. It's been a mild one, uh, sort of a warm one. Uh, Halloween is right upon us, and uh, we're all having a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I gotta have another one. Breakfast, man. You gotta have it. Mmm. Delicious. All right. Put a cap on it. Don't eat it all at once. Episode 43. Alex eats in the bag. I appreciate everybody watching. Stay tuned. We'll keep something else coming for you soon in the future. And, um, hope you have a good Halloween. Take care.